True Crime with Shane, where truth meets speculation, investigating crime from the past and the present. If you love true crime the way that I love true crime, then what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe as well as that notification button. That way you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. Thanks in advance, guys. Now let's get to some true crime. Hey, what's up, everybody? If you are new to the channel, please make sure that you comment like and of course subscribe we'd love to have you as a part of the family if you are a returning subscriber you already know the drill hey boo i'm happy to see you back now this is not going to be long i've been jumping on here um leaving some little nuggets here and there now i want to talk about this specific picture now i did a video a few months back i don't know maybe five or six months back when I said that I believe in my heart of hearts that this is those kids, the surviving roommates and whomever was at that house that morning when police were called to 1122 King or Queen Road, however you choose to reference the location. But I was going through my pictures I was doing some searching and stuff and I noticed something that I did not notice when I originally put the video out number one I was able to get a closer image which shows that this is clearly people sitting on this stump now originally I did not know that that was a stump I had to do a little bit more digging but what I also realized was there is somebody else standing on those steps. Now, I'll come back to that, but let me go back to how I figured out that that was a stump and where exactly they were sitting. If you pay close attention to this black truck, the front of the black truck is sticking out in this photo. And you can see whomever is trying to take this picture, they are behind a bush. So let's take a closer look. There is the same black vehicle in the same driveway. Let's get a little bit closer. You can tell by the headlights. Now, you can also see that stump down by that light pole. Here's a look in the daytime. That stump sits right across the street, directly across the street from the 1122 King Road home, okay, or Queen Road home. Again, however you choose to refer to the location. Now, that street, when you're going up Queen Road towards the 500 Queen Road apartments, it goes up. That's why the person who's standing on those stairs looks so high up because they are higher up. It is elevated at that point. So to be clear, the person in the red square is standing on these steps in the middle. Now, two points. Whomever took that picture showing the students, allegedly, or whoever that is sitting out there with those white sheets wrapped around them and the police officer is talking to them. Whoever took that photo, that was not the media. I don't believe that was the media because the media, they have awesome cameras. They know how to get a clear shot, free and clear of bushes and anything else in the way. This looks to be like... It's shot from someone's phone. They tried to zoom in. That's why it's grainy because they were far away. They were at an angle and they were trying to get whatever shots they could. Point being, if they have this shot, they definitely have more shots. They definitely have more pictures. And if you believe for one moment that whomever was standing on them, on those steps at 500 Queen Road Apartments did not come down and take a look to see what was going on when they saw these people sitting on the ground and 
all of these police were around. Like, make it make sense. Trust me, someone was being sneaky right down here, taking pictures behind the bushes. Anyway, I just wanted to come and drop another little nugget on you guys. Um, please make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And um, let's get the comments popping below. Talk to you guys soon. Bye now.